Hi everyone, it's Tilly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm happy to say, and you can probably hear it as well, I've sorted the microphone situation. If anyone saw my behind the scenes of filming a makeup tutorial video that I put out, you would have known that the quality of that audio was not great. The video was great, but the audio was not, and that's because my microphone actually broke. So I went and got myself a new one and I'm so, so happy to have it back, honestly. We needed it, let's be honest, and yeah, it's great to have you back little microphone today i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial i did a sped up version of this makeup tutorial as well on my instagram igtv video but i wanted to do a more in-depth one with a little voiceover just to chat to you all because i love doing these type of videos and i love doing like um a voiceover <laughs> here's me just talking to alexa alexa put some songs on Here's a playlist you might like. Thank you. Reggae to make you happy on Amazon Music. Not reggae. Alexa. Not a fan of reggae, obviously. I called this makeup look Lemonade Stand because I get really, really like summery slash spring vibes from this. It is the return of the tape. I cannot express how helpful this tape is. I got like a bunch of different tapes for Christmas off my auntie that lives down in Northampton and I honestly haven't stopped using them for makeup. That was probably not the intention she had for me to use them but they come in so handy. Like eyeliner is something I'm really really struggled with so I don't really do proper eyeliner. I've just been using like an angled brush with black eyeshadow and then cut it with the tape. when you peel it off it's so satisfying and it kind of offers the same effect as just a liquid liner so that's what I've been doing but oh my gosh I love the tape. If you struggle with makeup I definitely recommend just to stick some tape on there and it makes every single look just come out so polished and smooth. I love it. I'm not really sure what was going on here to be honest. I think I might have like full on stuck the foundation in my eye because I'm still feeling the consequences of that now. Like I was doing my makeup yesterday. I did a really nice makeup look that I probably should have filmed because it was really cool, different and I tried to do it like rainbow themed and it was quite cool, quite ombre. I put it on my Instagram story so you would have seen it if you follow me on there. Um, But yeah, I was like doing my makeup and I was on the phone to somebody. I think I was having an interview or something. I can't really remember but my eyes just started completely streaming well only one eye it was still the same eye that I had to take the tape off here and my mom was like mouthing to me while I was over the phone saying like what's up with your eye and it must have been the foundation that I got stuck in there like two days before but whatever it's fine now we've recovered it's all good I am singing and dancing a lot in this video. I was in a really, really good mood when I was filming this. Don't ask me why. I don't really know why, to be honest. I was just feeling good. I was feeling happy. And when I feel happy, I just start singing and dancing in makeup tutorial videos when I'm not supposed to, obviously. I also just want to say thank you to Eisenberg Paris, the brand. They sent me a bunch of their stuff and products to try out, like skincare and beauty. And in this makeup look, I'm using their foundation, their mascara, their fusion lip balm, and something else. Oh, primer. Um, so I was using their foundation, primer, mascara and fusion lip balm in this makeup look. I love their products. It's really high quality, beautiful stuff. And all their skincare products as well that they sent me are impeccable. So shout out to Eisenberg Paris. Thank you so much. They're like the loveliest people. And yeah, I'm very grateful for everything that you sent me. <laughs> Of course, I have the cup of tea by my side, as always. This is the Eisenberg Paris foundation. I've got this in like the lighter shade because I'm insanely pale, especially now we can't leave the house. So yeah, that's that. And also, I just want to point out, I feel like I don't think I've done many makeup tutorials on my YouTube channel. I've definitely done more on Instagram. But I feel like on each one, I've had a different hairband. Um, the, none of them are mine, to be honest. I nicked them all for my little sister mainly because she has all the hairbands. She's really into all of that, like boho hairbands, tutus and everything like that. So I nick her hairbands all of the time. And she hates me for it, don't you, Luciana? Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I feel like every hairband I've ever worn in makeup tutorials have kind of matched the look in some way. Like I did the unicorn hairband with like an ombre pink, blue and purple. A flower crown one with like a lemonade summery spring theme. 
I did have the pom pom hairband as well. I'm not really sure how that matches up with a makeup look though. So that's the exception. But I don't really know if I should make this a trend. Like what hairband should I wear next time in order to keep everything different. I feel like that's quite fun. Watch me go to the shop and buy a new hairband just to film a makeup video in it to make it all different. Because that's just the type of person I am. Something very random that I've been really thinking about lately is just getting back to traveling. We're all in lockdown and as many of you may know, I do lots of vlogs on this channel, traveling to all these different events and I didn't know how much I would miss it until it was gone. I'm so, so craving just getting back on a plane, like watching a movie over the sunset. I have a particular movie in mind that I kept putting off because I thought it was going to make me cry, but whatever, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bite the bullet and I just really want to get back to that. Don't get me wrong. I know we have the easiest job ever right now which is just stay home like i'm not a key worker i mean you might be but i'm not i just have to stay at home and i'm sticking to the rules 100 percent. but we can miss things so let me know what you are missing and what you're really looking forward to getting back to once all of this lockdown shenanigan is over and we're back to reality I put on how I was missing traveling and everything on my Instagram stories and I asked you all if you had any plans that had been postponed or you've got any plans to travel after lockdown is over and a lot of you said you had like trips to Hawaii, LA, California, like New York City, oh my gosh all the most amazing places, Disney World and I was like take me with you honestly take me a couple of you also said that you had like concerts booked and theater trips and i was supposed to be going to see everybody's talking about jamie at the theater in sunderland and i was so so excited to go but that was like i think like near the near the start of lockdown i want to say but we were so upset about that me and my sister got tickets for the show for christmas and we were going with my mom and her friend and it was going to be such a good day out but unfortunately that has been postponed but we've got our money back and we like gonna have to reschedule the tickets for another day when it's back on but yeah i'm really excited to get back to reality i was really really just craving a holiday yesterday i was holiday shopping for bikinis and everything and yeah i really feel for you all who had plans that you've had to be postponed because i didn't actually have any holidays booked but i was supposed to be going to a couple of countries like madrid places in spain i was supposed to be going to barcelona um like the first week of lockdown so obviously that didn't happen and coronavirus has hit spain pretty hard so it was a shame that I had to be postponed but it's for the best really and I just hope that I can get back to traveling and everybody else can go to their Hawaii vacation, go to Disney World once this is all over and we'll all be fine. I've just realised that I've not been talking at all about what's actually going on on the screen that you're watching, what you actually clicked on to see but I mean you can see that visually this is just a space for me to ramble on about everything that's going on in my brain and yeah i guess i'm uh, putting on some highlighter i really like this highlighter and it's with this little fluffy brush thing this is probably why i don't do like a thorough voiceover of what i'm doing on my face because i don't really know like the terms and everything like that i just had a notification ignore that it's all good i'm not very professional at all really i'm just a girl doing her makeup and having a blast while i'm doing it and i just like to chat to people whether they want to listen or not but i mean you're still here if you're listening to me right now link to me being very unprofessional when it comes to youtube a girl dm me on instagram asking what eyeshadow palette i used in my truly video that i did for them over on their youtube channel and it is the same palette i'm actually using here i should probably link everything down below to be honest i yeah i should probably do that yeah being a beauty youtuber you should definitely do that actually tilly maybe i'll get around to doing it or maybe not because it's pretty late when i'm doing this voiceover last time last week i had the video like ready to go up like five days in advance but this is a bit different because i was having to wait for the microphone to arrive because i tried to film without the microphone and it was just awful okay so it's worth the wait i promise and can we just talk about this beautiful shade of pink in this lipstick? I'm usually more of a warm toned kind of gal, more nude and neutral. However, I feel like with this look being lemonade stand and it being very summery spring, it kind of really suits it and I love it so much. Eisenberg Paris lipsticks, lip balm things are so, so, so soothing on the lips. Like they're so smooth, it actually feels like butter. 
they're amazing and i wear them every day they gave me a clear one as well so i literally do wear it every day just as lip balm here comes the new mascara i always have to figure out like what's best to hold and use a new mascara to try and not poke my eye out but this one is really really wispy it's very natural which is really good especially for this look being the summer spring i feel like i've said that so many times like this is a summer spring look yes Tilly, we get it but it's really really nice it's really gentle and it's really nice as you can see This is me posing and showing off how perfect I did my mascara and then I realised that it actually didn't go on perfectly and I got some mascara just underneath my eyebrow. Of course I did. I want to start doing this at the end of every makeup tutorial just to show everybody the look but I'm just bringing my ring light into the middle so that you can see it with really nice lighting. This is Lemonade Stand. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you like it and want to see more and I will see you all next time. Thank you.